Good morning and welcome for another surgical pathology slide review and sign out with Dr. Lewis Hassel. Today we're going to be looking at some of the more uh, nuances of pancreatic pathology. Specifically, we'll consider the case of a 65-year-old woman who's experienced uh, increasing abdominal pain and on investigation is found to have a mass lesion located in the pancreatic body. Here's the low magnification image of this lesion, and we can see that we have some pancreatic lobular parenchyma around the periphery. We have a large central mass that sort of pushes uh, some of this about. Um, doesn't have a particularly infiltrative border, um, but has a degree of sort of fibrosis around the capsule and a fair amount of pink fibrous tissue in the body of the lesion as well. We'll go first to look a little bit more closely at the uh, margins of this lesion. And we see here that it has a fairly sharply demarcated boundary with the surrounding uh, pancreatic parenchyma. We can also detect here that there's probably been some secondary atrophy of lobular parenchyma because we have some residual ductal epithelium and some areas where it looks like we have, for example here, a nice lobule that has become atrophic, probably in response to the direct pressure of this uh, growing mass lesion. Looking a little further, uh, we see that the lesion has a fairly large cystic area and then a uh, abundant uh, small space uh, pattern uh, in the background as well. We will uh, close in on this and let you see that uh, this fibrotic tissue um, doesn't have any specific uh, uh, features of note. And on high magnification, these cells lining the uh, uh, spaces are generally quite bland. Very small cuboidal cells, inconspicuous uh, nucleoli, uh, no significant atypia, and uh, nothing of a uh, particularly worrisome uh, feature. Additionally, we see that inside the lumen of these uh, spaces is a thin, uh, slightly protonaceous fluid uh, that some have called a serous type fluid. This then classifies the lesion nicely as a serous cystadenoma. Of note, however, is the uh, occasional presence here of some entrapped neuroendocrine cells right next to this. Um, and so this is a little caveat to sometimes be aware of that sometimes these tumors can seem to entrap uh, normal adjacent structures. These lesions uh, oftentimes can be recognized radiographically on the basis of this dense sclerotic fat uh, uh, tissue that uh, often is present and the uh, fairly sharply defined borders uh, with a lack of increased uh, blood flow to the area. So the radiologists oftentimes are quite adept at identifying these and hence uh, surgery is often avoided. Um, since these have a totally indolent behavior, um, in almost all cases, uh, that is very useful to be able to make that prediction. So in this patient, the reason the patient came to surgery was uh, first that she was symptomatic, and the lesion seems to be uh, enlarging, and when uh, there is some doubt about things, or when the uh, symptoms become serious enough as to potentially um, 
obstruct or damage uh, pancreatic function um, or interfere with other organ functions, the lesion will come to resection. So there you have it for today, a nice serous cyst adenoma of the pancreas. Appreciate your uh, joining with me and welcome any questions or comments.